Sabona everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today we're jumping back to Albania and I'm taking you to Mrizi i Zanave, one of the best agro-tourism farms on the planet. This place is incredible. If you guys don't know about Mrizi i Zanave, it's nestled about three hour drive north of Tirana next to Fishte village. It's a resort, restaurant, farm, winery, and a production facility all in one. Their motto is, Think globally, eat locally. They specialize in slow food, raised locally, sustainable, while promoting clean and fair food biodiversity. My friend Atin, he's the owner, he took me on an incredible tour of the property from the hotel to the factory. We ate our way through the entire place. It was incredible. Now guys, please check out Mrizi Izanovic. You're gonna love it. They're drying tomatoes over here. There's a ton of geese over there. They got cows, goats, horses, over there they got more tomatoes, right? More tomatoes. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Tutto a posto? Ben arrivato. Grazie, grazie. <laughs> and this is the owner, Altin. Altin. He speaks really good Italian. <laughs> okay, so here we're walking into the main building and this is where you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So breakfast is only for people who stay at the hotel and then lunch and dinner. Anybody can come and have dinner, lunch. Hi, how are you doing? Hey. This is burek? Uh, Christian, and burek, this is burek? Corn, corn burek. Corn burek? It's inside soft, but same is crunchy. This is the best. Mmm, spinaca, parmaggio. You guys say this might be the best burek ever. Mmm. Corn bread burek, or corn dough, right? So it's all corn, and then you have nice cheese. It's almost like grits in there. It's like grainy, you know? This is an oven. My God, el forno, el forno, <laughs> in crazy. So he has a lot of different burek. They use basically different herbs and different greens that are grown here at the property. So many, they all look delicious. Let's keep exploring. Okay. I'm still really hungry though, I need breakfast. <laughs> so this is like your little forest. You call it the bosque, yes. right? Yes. So there's a forest. This is incredible, I've never seen this before. So basically they carved out into the rock or the, yes, the hill, yes, yes. this beautiful terrace, so one, two, three, four, five, like six huge tables. Yes, 10 years build it and the, the, okay. the, the woods survive better in other places. We preserve, we, we, we cure the woods, it's so important not wow. to destroy the forest. I love it, man, I love it. <laughs> okay. This place is a different world. The Albanian breakfast is with rakia. Uh, this is uh, the mulberry rakia. You know mulberry fruit? This is the life, guys. Cheers. Gazur. Gazur. Wow, so smooth. Yeah. Bono bono. Yeah, it's mm. fantastic rakia, yes. You could feel it, you could taste the mulberry. Mm. Mm. And it's not too strong, super chilled. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is uh, uh, it's cornel juice. We have here the fruit. It's uh, the wood here in the forest. Okay. It's this fruit. You can see here. This. This fruit. It's, it's full of antioxidants. It's, it's wild fruit. We have here in the forest. It's not natural. It's not planted here. We use it so much for rakia. We use it for juice, for jams. So here we have breakfast. We got burek, we got cheese. Mm. This is fried. Yeah, petola. It's Albanian petola. Petola, okay. In the moment you don't have bread, you, may, you put the fried just a. Uh, Flour. This flour, okay. Yeah. So it's basically just flour fried. Over here we have a plate of figs, grapes, raspberries, blackberries. So let me try some of these figs. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is delicious. Wow. Allora abbiamo la la marmellata di gelso, mulberry jam. La marmellata di mele cotogne, la marmellata di mirtillo selvatico di montagna. Poi c'è il corbezzolo che è un altro frutto selvatico. Qui c'è il miele di castagno, panna acida che si noi chiamiamo mas in Albania, mas, e il glico fico che è una, è una mostarda di fico selvatico. So I'm gonna have some of the burek, the same one I had earlier. Mmm. I love how crispy it's on top. Nice and mushy. This burek is in a whole different world. I mean, nothing like it. You usually get it with dough. This is with corn. Mm. We have a problem with the diet in Albania. <laughs> <laughs> These eggs are eggs from here, from the farm, right? Oh, have some cheese. 
And it has some butter. Obviously, they love butter here in Albania. Mmm. Oh my God. Cheese just melted and oozed out my mouth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some cheese like this. It's goat cheese, goat cheese. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is truly farm to table. Right there, everything is made, grown, produced, and we're eating it. Wow. Questo è buonissimo. And this is the petula. So you said it, add honey. If not, it's really bland. Add some honey. Mm -hmm. Basically, this is a fried pancake. Fried pancake. Yes. I have to have another one. So far, just put it up with honey. Close it like that. Oh yeah. Mm. From the eggs to the fruit to the honey, everything is produced here on the farm. Again, Gazur, 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 Gazur to the best ecotourism resort, lodge, farm. This guy does everything here. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get on his bike, and we're gonna go around the whole property and see what they produce. Ready to go? Well, uh, the best, the best moto in the world. Uh, use it so much farmers here, this moto. Yeah, they use so it? much. It's perfect. It's 30 years old and go, same of Mercedes. Oh, I'm gonna get on here. Okay. Oh, see, si, see. Si. Let's do this. Real Yeah, sir. Really amazing. Look at this. Going through the farmland. Over here we have some vines. Over here we have some different fruits and vegetables. Agrofishta. Uh, our idea is to valorizing everything what we have here. This is one old political prison. We build it, we rebuild it. Uh, we rehabilitation this. This is an old prison. Yes. Wow, here, out here, like in the middle of nowhere. Yes, yes. That's amazing. We put uh, green pines and the sugar and stay in the sun for so much time, for two months. Touch is so hot. Wow. And the juice of pine. It's like boiling. Yes. Oof. For so much days. Pine syrup, and this is how he makes it. That's incredible, dude. Wow. Now we're gonna enter the winery section. This is so cool. Dude, it's crazy. How many fermenting tanks you have? It's a normal medium winery, but uh, a uh, technological winery. We are so open that of the future, of uh, the new techniques. More is high the technology in the winery, more is down the quantity of additives inside. So the wine can be more natural with high technology. You see there. We have the system of cold. So you have huge fermenting tanks in the beginning. This is like where they start, right? In this moment we have uh, two types of white wine and same two types of, of red wine, not, not so much. So this is last year's harvest. Yes. Basically it was bottled, now they're storing it, right? This is, wow. We needed to, to make free the tankers to put the new wine. And this year is uh, it's more fast of another year this year. This year the grape is, is ready, I think it's maximum 10 days is ready. You try this, is the color. This is a Calmet grape, it's Albanian uh, cal uh, autochthon variety of, of grape and uh, we put it just six months in the, in the tonneau, no barrique, tonneau is more big. Uh, important is to have a little s a sense of wood but not so much, we don't like so much wood. Important is the fruit, is the wine, is uh, the, the really... Alright man, let's try this. Okay. Cheers. Mm. Oh, the temperature is perfect. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Not be so hot. No, it's like cool. Yeah, yeah. It's sitting here. Yeah. Out there, it's hot. In yeah. here, it's cold. Yes. It's I feel important. good. To stay stock, needed to stay under 20, 20 degrees. 20 degrees. For the, for the barriques, for the bottles, it's so important. Yeah. Delicious. Wow. Fruity. This is indigenous grape. Good. I'm super happy. <laughs> Thank I'm you. so excited I'm here. Thank this is great. So much wine, so much wine. Wow, white, red. They have house wine that never ends here. My friend, uh, what? This is smoked? I show you something very special for me. It's the smokery. It's the smokery of the meat, but same I made experiments of cheeses, of cells, and everything what they needed to smoke. 
this is the smoke room. So that's cow sausage? Yes, and we call it kumajak. Kumajak? Yes. And here we have the pork, uh, pasterma. So this is the smoker room. Right now, he turned it off. He just like, he said they finished, you know, smoking for the morning. This is our to go over here to another room. Stock room. Yes. I'll show you this here. What? Amazing. We use the meat of little farmers with three porks, four cows. It's uh, little farmers made of fantastic meat. And we made it in traditional method, but we are open of technology and to be safe. So we have beef sausage, yes. the same thing? No, this is pork. This is pork sausage. This is beef sausage, this is pork sausage. Okay, you big difference. Different. Yeah. yeah, it looks different. It's different yes. Wow, that one, yeah, that was darker, richer. This one has more cloudy, white layers. What is that? The beef, the beef pasta, you see it's uh, with, uh, we use uh, local uh, spices. It's, uh, it's Ginoperm, it's, it's uh, red Ginoperm we have here. Probably one of my favorite rooms of all time. Smoked meat, sausages, wow, pork, beef. The smell is unbelievable. Hey, for lunch we're having all this, right? Yeah? Gotta try it all. Gotta try all this. Wow, it's called the pasturma. Different from the pasturma from Armenia. Hello there. This is the farmer, this is the wife, it's a good workers and we select what we needed. Who chooses in the restaurant is just fresh. And every week I buy from this man uh, 500 kilo of fruits. And not just from this man, from another people. So uh, the power of our restaurants is so big. And maybe we use fresh fruit juices and we don't use industrial drinks. This is so fantastic to make local economy. That's the best part about what you guys do is that you guys help locals. They buy from farmers, no industrial stuff, nothing pre-made, nothing frozen, everything fresh. 500 kilos a week? That's crazy, that's amazing. Here is the cheese factory. It's cheese. like this little cheese factory, but it's, it's quality. Cheese factory. Yes. What? Yes. You have wine. You have cheese. Yes. You have grapes. Yes. I show you another surprise. Okay. Okay. So for the cheese, in this moment we made a second This is the goat cheese. What we feed this morning is here. No. And uh, here we finish with the goat cheese and we put the cow meat. To, to be it's pasteurizing, but not it's in high temperatures. Maximum 62 grades, what? and we put down in 36 grades, and uh, this uh, one cheese with, uh, wow. with penicillium. That's crazy, that's crazy. This is so good. This is similar to like brie cheese? Yeah, it's something this, but with uh, it's, it's not with the uh, added fat, it's just the natural fat of the cheese. It's really natural, really normal, just the uh, salt and penicillium is this bacteria to put inside and we don't use another additives inside. Not every day come really right, you see here come maybe something different, but it's, it's really natural. We use for the restaurant. It smokes the best, man. <laughs> I can't even believe where I am. I'll tell you, I've traveled a lot. I've never been inside a cheese factory like this. <laughs> Thank you. Like, this is cool. We use tomatoes, little and cherry with this. We serve fresh, one welcome plate for their clients in my own restaurant. The idea is we serve this with uh, tomato and basilicum and tomato, really fresh, sour today in the restaurant. So we pick the tomato in the same day. We made the ricotta cheese today, no? And we serve in the table today to make the maximum of freshing in the table. You see there. Yes, my cousin. He come with the. Yeah, can we pack the orange juice? It's amazing. Can you cancel the chocolate and the Blackberries. Yeah, it's wild blackberries. Wild blackberries. It's little. But They're perfect. It's, it's, it's full yeah. of. Yeah. They're smaller. Yeah. Mmm. So much flavor. Not sour. Yeah. Mmm. What is this, dude? Crazy. Da, 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 da. <laughs> this is the Albanian cheese. No? It's stuck at here for uh, 60 days in, uh, in food bars. The wood uh, made a special sour cheese. And uh, made the stability with the temperatures and uh, it's natural. 
So that cheese he just showed me is traditional Albanian cheese. On top, he has goat cheese. Over here to the very end, we have cow cheese, difference in color. That's white, whiter. That's yellow, super yellow, different molds, different sizes. He sells all this obviously at the restaurant. When you eat, you, you eat this cheese, but you can also buy it, come here. So we have different forms and different variety. For uh, example, this is the, the Kachkaval of Pfeffers. It's not so much stock, it is uh, it's strong, but it's, um, it's 45 days. So more is little the, the, the forms, and more is down the, the day to, to stock. More is big the form, so for big, big forms, is uh, the better is to stay 12, 12 months. 12 months? Yes, for big forms. But uh, So this one, where does it take this one? This is fast, two months. Two months? Yes, we need to use fast. It's little and can be dry. It's not good to stock in high birds. Under wine, cheese under wine. What? And in the winter, uh, in the, in the winter we made sign the cheese with uh, white pomegranates, but in this moment we don't have, we finish it. So you are aging the cheese in a barrel with wine. Yeah. And then we eat it and it blows our minds. <laughs> <laughs> so what these guys are doing is they're taking this cheese to the restaurant and to the shop. And every day we take cheese to put in the restaurant and in our shop. And everything goes fantastic. In this moment we don't have quantity of cheese for the clients. You see it's empty. Okay, the goat cheese. It's the first stock here and the second stock in the food barns. They have like 300 goat cheeses here, actually more. This goes to the bottom, so lots of goat cheese. It's the first day here. The first day, yeah. and then it goes over. And it over go in the food barns. Here it needs to stay the temperature more hot and for the two days, and after go in another, in another food barn to stay more long, long, long time. What other surprise do you have for me? Here we made the, you know, the fruits. The juice of corners you take in the morning. Here is the, the tomato, no? <gasps> the, the dried tomato, you see the dried tomato in the place to dry, and here's the results. He was telling me the way they do this is they dry the tomatoes, then bring it here, put it under oil. And here we have it. Sun dried tomatoes with oil. I think it's, it's more more sweet what you try in your life. <laughs> My favorite thing of all time, man. Yeah. The reason is simple. Mm. We don't do so much salt. Mm. Tomato. Yeah. All the flavors, the juices. It's been dried, but then you add the oil. One, one last one. One last one. <laughs> Ma questo migliore. Mm. El nostro magazzino delle, delle conserve. The sun dried tomatoes, yeah. the marmalades. Yeah. Everything. Everything that has been produced from a fruit yeah. or vegetable into a jam. Wow. In every season we have something to make. I have four workers here. In this moment stay in the winery to put the bottles, but normally stay here. In every season we have, we have something to make for these people. We have tomatoes, we have berries, we have um, in, this, in the spring different fruits in the summer in autumn in the winter time we have another products to make every in 12 months these labs go every day and the first producer of rice in albania no way in communist period we cultivate rice but uh, if the moment go down the communists the albanians don't cultivate the rice we use just imported rice but I like to come back to cultivate the rice. This is the second year. I, we go to see together the plantation of rice. And uh, this is the, the rice. This guy changed a jail into a never-ending factory. Cheese factory, wine factory, marmalade factory. I mean, like, salami, smoked meats. This is, this is unreal. And he does it all with the help of the community, all locals, all farmers, everybody who's employed here is from the area. Everything you eat here, it comes from right here, from the farm. It's the best place on the, in the world. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's go with this motto. Let's rock and roll. Cheese. More cheese. Yeah. Woo. Here uh, it's one experiment to make uh, a cream cheese. 
So this is an experiment he's doing. He's doing some green cheese in an old tunnel. The smell is so strong and it's normal. Yeah. This is a tunnel he made yeah. in the hillside where they store the cheese and that's green. It's experiment. Wow. The smell. It's, in, it's incredibly strong. Yeah. Incredibly strong. Yeah. It's super dark down here. It's cold. Yeah. Oh. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy, but it's good. It's good. It's unique. Dude, you couldn't have surprised me more. Maybe you go strong, don't start. You okay, you see? Maybe you, you need to go slowly. Here we, we have a plantation of artichokes. In this moment, uh, it's finished the summer season. And in autumn and in, in, in winter, start the new production, no? So this is where he produces artichoke. Yes, here we have the vineyard for the grape, white grape, not red. So this is white grape vineyard. Yes. Here's artichoke. Yes. What don't you produce? <coughs> and the, here we have the beans. Beans? Beans, yes. So normal vegetables all come from the farmers. We're with 400 families. Yes. 400 families yes. from the area of leisure. Yes, yes. And then you also produce your own, which yes. is all this. This is all produced yeah. by you. Yeah. This is the white grapes. But here, we can try the grapes. Grab one right here. It's probably still sour because it's not harvest yet. Mm -hmm. Harvest is late September, early October. Mm. The amount of sun they're getting is crazy. So hot right now. August in Albania is scorching. Definitely worth it, but prepare yourself because it gets intensely hot. So we're getting back here to the hotel area. What are we going to do next? Tomatoes? Oh man, uh, tomatoes. I think, uh, I think, I think, uh, so this is the shop. And here's Jovalin. Uh, start for the honey producer. It's for producer honey. All right, so like he said, this shop, everything here they produce, cheese, marmalades, they have the smoked meats. Over here they have these beautiful jars, pottery made for rakia. These are made for rakia. And this guy, he's just going all out here with the honey. Multi-flower honey. He takes it all off the honeycomb, he adds it in here, and then he adds it into this machine. It spins and then all the honey comes out dripping. Dude, where's the wine? Where's the rakia? Question catch the, 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 the capra. Sounds like interesting. This is the goat cheese? Mmm. Similar manchego. Similar. Mmm. Wow. Dense. Minor salt. Mm hmm. My question. Mmm. It's under wine. Oh my god. The cheese made of wine is to die for it. like it is mm -hmm. mm. it's like a mix between like a gruyere a brie mm. super soft also you feel the wine oh and these what are these manteles what's the mantel old woman from here and we go to see together how it's made so basically she's knitting these different tablecloths right they're all tablecloths. This morning, I think I've experienced more than I have in my entire life in a three hour span. From seeing how they make wine, to cheese, to smoked meats, then they're going to seeing the farm. And look at this. This is, dude, this is where people have lunch right here. People come here and have lunch like this. This is crazy. And this is all vines too, no? <coughs> yeah. Now we're gonna check into my room. So they have nine rooms here. Super small boutique hotel. It's beautiful, look at this. Like a stone house. Hear the sounds, look over an entire area, beautiful farmland. There's no words to explain how unique this property is. And we only started. As soon as I enter the building, go up the stairs, and there's mine with the horse. Are you serious? Are you serious about this? Oh my god. Queen size bed, twin size bed. Behind us, we have the bathroom separated by glass, so you can easily be in the bathroom. Still checking out the view. Look at this, the building, the stone building right here gets cut and then you have glass. Dude, I am so happy to be staying here tonight. Thank you. This is the best, the best place on the planet. My God, 
Guys, when you come to Albania, come to Mnizi Izanave, you can see everything I just showed you. If you don't stay here, you come here for lunch, dinner, it's okay. Try their wines, their honey, their rakia, all the fruits, all the bura. Yes. Everything. Let's go, man. Kitchen? Yes. Let's go. go. He's gonna give me a quick tour of the kitchen. There's so many things happening right now. There's so many people here. There's like 200 people eating lunch right now. Goose. It's goose, yeah. What is goose? It's oka. Okay. Uh, goose. Goose. Geese. 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 Goose. Geese. 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 Okay. We made one geese. Boil it inside with onions and clams. And we serve the sauce with clams. So this geese is actually baked with onions and plums. So it's extra juicy, a little fruity. Yeah. And right here we have quail with pilaf. Delicious. Thank you. Shishabab of pork is big. Shishabab. We, we put it in the fire. And time we have a little shishabab of uh, lamb. Yeah, the best. For, for, for the barbecue and the fire is just the meat with the fat. The meat without fat, uh, I don't think to put in the fire is not good for my opinion. Yeah, so basically because the fat becomes juicy and crunchy, yes. so that's why you should put it in the fire. Yes, and, well, and here we prepare ice creams. We have two different ice creams. One is with coffee, another is with blueberry, and uh, honey. It's juice of blueberry fruit. It's fresh and cool. We put together with the ice cream of blueberry and uh, honey. So what he's doing here is that he's brewing coffee that they put on the ice cream. So and uh, Okay, so this last dessert was basically frozen blueberry juice on a vine that was from the blueberry tree or the, the, the stem of the blueberry tree. Crazy, bro. Crazy. This guy's doing some unique food. I can't wait. Slow food. It's so good. Farm the table. <laughs> you have three options to dine. You can either go to the forest area, up in the terrace, or you can go to this terrace. This is a huge open air terrace with vines on top. This is where it's packed. Packed. Okay. It's more fresh here. Oh yeah, it's fresh, <laughs> fresh. Okay, so we're here sitting in the beautiful terrace. I mean, this is such a beautiful setting. Incredible. I mean, for summer, it's perfect. He is packed every single day in summer, just non-stop clientele. And I, I know why. I mean, just the food is phenomenal. The way they do everything, you know, lots of love, slow food. And right here we have the salad, which is basically ricotta cheese, tomatoes, oil. Lo everything is locally sourced. And then right here we have bread, right? This is like a... What's the... Oh, I know this is... It's Albanian feta. We use it this for beer next time. But time, uh, my grandmother, this my grandmother made it, made it the feta, toasted. I go to steal of my grandmother and to eat. <laughs> and I put in the restaurant for this. That's amazing. <laughs> time to jump on this ricotta cheese. Wow. Phenomenal. So delicate. So beautiful. The presentation. Mm. Mm. What a soft cheese. Mm. No salt. No salt. It's like sweet. So good. All white wine is with the shesh, local variety, and chardonnay. The shesh. Mm. Oh man. What a delicious house wine. It's a little dry, fruity. Oh, cold. Mmm. Super fresh, like juice, you know? And I think it's super, super natural. It's more important. Oh man, this cheese. Mmm. The basil, tomato, and fresh cheese. Simply appetizer. So the burek, homemade burek with pumpkin, spicy pepperoncino is what typical. The dried tomatoes we see together now. The <coughs> olives. Green tomato and their salt fermented, and the normal zucchini. Here we have the vegetables, corn and eggplant, and or, or pumpkin yellow and the pepperoncini. Pepperoni, sorry, mm -hmm. but it's so sweet. The okra is typical from Albanians, and another pasta mayo and cheese is we see together. No, in what place we made, and one fresh simply salad with basilicum and tomato. We use the tomato just in this season. 
as he said, we have so many different things. We have tomatoes, we have potatoes, cheese, we got eggplant, what else? Peppers, okra, dried tomatoes, we have the burek, more cheese, olives. I'm gonna start off with the fiole zucca. Fiole zucca is one of my favorite things ever. We eat this in Italy all the time. Basically, it's a flour. Yeah, the husband. Flour and eggs and, and beer. So the batter is flour and beer and eggs. Inside we have ricotta cheese, zucchini flour. Next I'm gonna try this amazing potato. It's like a purple potato. Yeah. With cheese. I think it's my first time trying a purple potato. Mmm. So soft. Love the outer layer of the skin of the potato. The cheese. It's almost like fondue, straight up. Mm. And then obviously, tomato. Juicy tomato. That's only in season right now. Mm -hmm. mm. So juicy, so plumpy. What's amazing about it is that this was picked from that garden right there. And he was telling me, he knows when it's seasoned, when he starts hearing like the crickets or the grasshoppers making the chirping noises, you can hear all behind us. That's when it's seasoned, that's when it's time to get your tomatoes. And this is sun-dried tomatoes that has been sitting in oil for a day. How many days? Many days. As you say, dried is five days. And you can see them being dried right there, right now. Yeah. Mm. So much flesh in there. The flesh of tomato obviously is super dry, but it's absorbed some oil. Wow. This is the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. A little okra. Wow, this one's like falling apart. Maybe some of this. This is eggplant? Yeah. Right. And this one. Whoa, everything is like literally falling apart. Zucchini. This is zucchini. Mmm, pasta. Albanian yuca, yes. We, you, we made it with the uh, with blueberry. So this is the yuca. This is Albanian cayetele. But this one's unique because it has blueberry and it's like literally like a purple pasta. <laughs> it's fresh, have acidity, and the cow cream fermented is sweet and sour sour and have a little fat that is good. Before I try the pasta, I'm gonna try the okra. Bro. Dude, what'd you do to that thing? It just like fell apart my mouth. Mmm. Mmm. And this is the pasta. Woo! How beautiful is this? This is gonna be good. Purple pasta. Mmm. I don't even know how to tell you what I'm feeling here. It's hot, tastes blueberries, delicious pasta, almost al dente. Wow, the creaminess. It's the cow milk, man, look at this. What? It's fermented. My gosh. Mm. Yeah, so my friend's saying here that he doesn't like to add like 20 different ingredients to something. It's usually very simple. One, two good ingredients, obviously from here from the farm, fermented cow cream, wild blueberries. I've had so many pastas in my life, I gotta say this is probably top five ever. The creaminess, the berryness, it's just so fresh and it's so unique. Mm. Oh my God. And that is the roasted goose with plums. Then I'm just gonna jump on one of these. <laughs> Small pieces of meat, nice fat, and the sheep, so good. Mm -hmm. So usually it's a bigger portion. Obviously he brought me less. It's okay, I'll get a little more. Goose, geese, yes, this is gonna be great. I love it. When I got here, right in front, right there, where I parked the car, there was like a million geese. Oh wow! Look at this. The amount of flesh here. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, I love with the plum sauce. So, if you guys have never had geese meat before, it's a little different than chicken. It's a little gamier, okay? Different bird, right? Mm. I'm gonna get some of that sauce. That was amazing with the star. Like what's that? Mm. No, it's just kebabs. All right, so here we have dessert. We have a yogurt cake with wild berries. And under it's like a cookie yeah. almost. Uh, yeah. I started putting yeah. Almost tastes like a blueberry pie with the freshest yogurt you've ever had. Cold. The bottom's a little crunchy, a little nutty. Troppo buono. Wow. Okay, so next up I'm having a blackberry ice cream, but it's more like a popsicle. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is like straight up pure blackberry. You really like invented something awesome here. This is really cool. Mm -hmm. mm. Look at that. Straight from the blackberry tree. Oh! Blueberry ice cream with pine syrup, and then you have that shell on top. The outer layer is basically frozen blackberry as well. It, it almost tastes like honey, obviously, very similar, but it's syrup, pine syrup. Mm. Coaster cream and fruits, yes. One last bite, let's try it. Nice fluffy custard. Still very like honey-like. Did you put syrup in here too or is it I mean, this whole feast was incredible, my man. Thank you. Thank you, sorry, <laughs> sorry. You? Oh, that's a trophy. So this is coffee ice cream with roasted coffee. They literally just roast it as you saw and they put it on top. What, it's probably super hot. Yeah, it's hot. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my god. Mmm. The ice cream is amazing. That's the flavor of coffee. When you bite into the coffee, the beans. Mmm. Nice crunch. It's like phenomenal. Best coffee ice cream I've ever had. I'll have some more for sure. Next, we're gonna go see how they make some textiles and some pottery in the area. This is not done here on the property. It's right outside some local, you know, villagers. And here we go, look at all the geese. Never ending geese. After a two kilometer drive, we're here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's super hot in Albania. Aí tu aí, qual cachê ou melhor tem que ir? Só sou bom aí. Gazur, gazur. Atlium goya. Oh, okay, so they're doing this here. Wow. Yes. Look at this. Yes. So this lady right here, she's weaving basically tablecloths, right? Tablecloths, and behind her, her husband, I'm guessing her husband, he's making these like these baskets for bread. You can only find it at your restaurant or another restaurant. Yes. One of the restaurants. Yes. Wow. So he gets the, the branches and he puts it together and he makes these beautiful baskets. It's one fantastic woman and made uh, the best quality of texture of this. Uh, we call Msala Teza. Teza. So she does this for about four to eight hours every single day. It's non-stop weaving. So like her, she has like, you know, a scarf on her head because the heat is just out of control. It's like, hoo, 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 hoo. It takes, you said roughly 10 to 20 minutes to do it? Maybe to make one, you needed something 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah, for one, yes. Hard work to go in the mountain to select the perfect uh, little boots for this. And so. Yeah, lots of hard work. He has to find the, the branches, basically, and then he has to come here, put it on the wood, which is the mold, and then he puts them in, and he starts going around them. 
I mean, that's a lot of intense work, but it looks beautiful and it's definitely a great addition to any restaurant. Okay, here, more stuff. Do you buy some? Yeah, I buy it. daddy. Ciao. My friend, these people are too nice. Too nice. Everywhere you go in Albania, you're gonna feel this because it's really local. It is all about farm life. Most people, two million of the three million, live outside of Tirana. And that's spread out through farmland, through other cities. Yeah, but there's so much, so much richness in culture here. We're here. Time to see some ceramic work, pottery. Oh wow, huge bases in there. So the owner of this property is named Vasilis and he makes his own clay. So this is his clay, right? He just pulls it out and he goes over here and makes pottery. But as you can see, he has like little cups here. Pretty amazing. All right, let's see how they make it. Good friend. So Vasilis does around 200 of these every single day, of just these. But you also make other ones, right? And you have to paint, okay, okay, so it's a, it's a long process. So, starts off with clay, comes here, he molds it, then he goes over there and he puts it in the sun for what, one day? In summer one day? Yeah, in summer because it's freaking boiling. Yeah. <laughs> Vasilis produces his own clay and it lasts two years. And from the clay, he makes all this, look at this. I don't even know, this is like for, oh, there's a piggy bank? Oh, that's great. You have a little hole for a piggy bank? I love it, I love the red. Very Albania, right? And right here, we have the two eagles, right? With the hand, two eagles. Here is a beautiful vase. Love the colors. Colors are beautiful. And here, more vases and more piggy banks. She's painting the piggy banks. A place to save money. <laughs> I love your work here. He also has over here these beautiful jugs for rakia, right? These are for rakia. Behind, we also have this is ashtray you know, with the double eagle. Beautiful ashtray. I mean, so many beautiful products here. Oh, really, really nice. Shenzhen. So this is the area we're in. And this, what is this for? I guess it's for rakia too. I don't know, maybe a small rakia. I love this part of this country. There's so many different things at work. Everything is handmade. Who is that? Skanderbeg. Skanderbeg. National hero. Yes. Fight with Osman. All right, guys, let's go back. It's time for dinner. So we just got back to the hotel and look, this is my room right here, this one. Incredible, love this architecture. I wanna show you the room and then we're going to dinner. So this room is called the horse, or well, it's horse here. Nine rooms and they gave me the best one. The one with this epic view, look at this. Love this huge window, two huge pieces of glass. Love the stone, you know, this is an old stone building and they literally cut this and put the glass Wow, look, queen size, twin, all wood, stone, wood, air conditioning, really, really critical. And over here we have the bathroom divided by glass, right? So you can go to the bathroom and see the sunset. Amazing. Now I'm gonna take a quick shower and I'll see you at dinner. Let's go. Gazor, Gazor. Just delicious fresh juice. Mm. Yes. I'm ready for dinner, my man. Yes, it's full of vitamin C. Vitamin C? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here we are in this beautiful terrace. You have easily like 25 tables, they're all spread out. Yeah. On top we have the beautiful vines, lots yeah. of beautiful lights, and the sun is setting. 
gorgeous. I mean, this is this is true dinner. So what are we having for dinner? Que manjamo? Uh, surprise. Surprise, perfect. <laughs> That's all I need. And rakia maybe. <laughs> and here we have dinner. You have so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I am so hungry. I'm hungry. Most things here are appetizers that we also had at lunch, right? So we have sun-dried tomatoes, the burek, the uh, fiery zuka, the delicious potatoes with cheese. Then we have cheese, cold cuts, and then again, beautiful vegetables and a salad. But we also have, what is it, kebab? Yes, the pork shishabab. Yeah. The pork shishabab? Yes. Okay, and then this one? And this is the baby goat cooked. What? Yeah, baby goat. Classical cooked of baby goat. Baby goat. Yes. I'm just going to skip everything else and jump on to those. Alright guys, let's jump on the pork. And it also has some yogurt, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's good. Mm. Oh, it's delicious. And this pork comes from here too? Yeah, 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 it's just... Now I'm gonna jump on the baby goat. Baby goat, wow. Look how yummy this is. And this goat comes from right there. Oh, I love goat. Goat and lamb, the best. Mm. The goat flesh falls off the bone. Hey, you see, con burro, boo. Delicious, wow. Phenomenal, man. This is this is the best food. Mm. I love the experience here. You know, come here. I suggest staying here at least one night. There's nine rooms so you have to book ahead of time. Come here and do everything I did. You can see cheese. You can see salami, smoking. They're making wine. You can see pottery, textiles. Walk around the property. If you want to book my room, which is what the horse. Yeah, Cavallo. the horse room. The horse room. It's the best room. You can get the one below, but the top is better. Better view. <laughs> yeah. You see the sunrise, I'm sure, tomorrow morning. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. And yeah, you can come here for lunch or dinner if you're not staying on the property. But if you're staying here, you can, you know, obviously enjoy breakfast. Let's enjoy this feast. Cheers. Thank you for coming here in Albania. No problem, no problem. Yeah. Thank you. Vizor. So I hope you enjoyed this journey through Mrizi E. Zanavan, one of the best farms on the planet. Next time you go to Albania, definitely add it to the top of your bucket list. It's a must visit. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, comment below, subscribe for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next one. Follow me in the